Hello, I am Ineas from ToleratedCinematics.com and in this video I will be learning you how to render out your video so exporting your video for the web you have created your um, montage and you want to export it to YouTube or whatever uh, website it is um, that will be shown in this video so the most important thing once you have done your um, video montage uh, automatically the yellow line should be following the length of your video but if it's not uh, if you want to select just this uh, part of the video and you want to render out just this and not all the rest you can do that by just dragging this over here to the indicated time you want to render out so in most cases you will be rendering out your complete timeline and you can see over here it's taking if you go to the end and hold shift to snap by the way if you drag uh, it won't snap and if you hold shift it will snap so that's a nice way to um, go to one another checkpoint and uh, you can see it's um, almost 50 seconds long so we are going to export this so to do this we are going to file export and export media over here we get our video you can scrub through it um, in most cases you don't have to then we have over here the format and for YouTube I would recommend using a H.264 format and that's the um, best way for the web and the preset we're going to Vimeo if you know Vimeo it's a great website for professional uh, video editors and all uh, all the people that do professional work with video they post it on there and it's a nice community um, with a lot of professionals so you get nice feedback and it's not kind of like YouTube that you get a lot of haters and stuff like that um, in most cases Vimeo is pretty clean in that so it's pretty nice you can also find a lot of inspiration on there uh, I use it a lot so over here Vimeo HD 1080p 23.96976 and I know that these are the uh, exact same settings that I've used for my camera so I will click on those the output name go to desktop again and I will name it to drone uh, video because I've created a drone video and click save export video and export audio be sure to check that on if you uh, only want to check uh, export the video or only export the audio you can do that um, but in this case you want to keep the same settings um, now the filter is okay the video here we want to change a few things so progressive is okay square pixels okay um, all these things most probably are okay but one thing I want to change is the target bitrate and that is the quality of your video um, I change them to 10 and 20 so minimum 10 um, bit rates so and max 20 so well if you don't really care about the file size of your video you can increase them to the max and your quality will improve but your video as I said the video file will improve as well in the file size so it's kind of um, playing around with those settings until you're satisfied with the results of your quality and your video format size uh, then yeah you can check on use maximum render quality and export it click on export and it will start encoding your main footage and it will take a few minutes uh, I suppose estimated time remaining is for me four minutes so um, see you in four minutes and then we will see what it has done um, excuse me okay see you soon okay welcome back so over here you have seen uh, it's finished rendering and we want to close this um, bef be before we close our project we go to file and save our project again and saving the project okay closes down and over here we see the footage it's rendered out and it will create a new file double click it and then it will play back whatever you have created and I have added the blur here so it's kind of messy and it's a really bad montage that I've just made uh, it's just to show you uh, whatever you can do with Premiere Pro so um, yeah that's that this is our video and now you can just upload it to YouTube and let the world see whatever you have made um, so if you have made something nice um, using my tutorials please um, and I really say please post it as a video response on this video because I can not wait to see whatever you have created 
with Premiere Pro. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope I hope you enjoyed my tutorial courses. In the next tutorials, I will be going more and more advanced in Premiere, and then we will be showing you. Uh, how to get a little bit better at it, but now you know the basics you can get started You can create your own video. You can just do whatever you want um, If you have any questions message me in a private message on YouTube um, pre uh, preferably uh, Because I don't always see all the comments and a lot of haters are through the comments So it's kind of difficult for me to see each time So just send a private message and I'll see what I can do. Thanks for watching and goodbye